My mom just recently su suffered a heart attack, so it's a pretty much high alert. The health of my heart is always something that I have at the back of my mind. Juana Lebedinsky has come to the doctor for a regular checkup. She wonders whether she'll have a screening test to check her heart. But Dr. Albert Levy does a careful evaluation before doing an EKG or ordering an exercise stress test. Mm -hmm. You don't smoke? No. He assesses the patient's risk for heart disease. Smoking, high blood pressure, history of diabetes, history of heart disease, the gender, if they are overstressed, sedentary, overweight or obese. Those are very, very important risk factors. For people with symptoms of heart disease or at high risk for it, an electrocardiogram or EKG can be life-saving. It records the heart's activity through electrodes attached to the chest, and that helps measure the chances of having a heart attack. It's perfectly normal. When an EKG is done on a treadmill, it's called an exercise stress test, and it can give vital information too. But in low-risk patients, the tests are less accurate, and that can trigger follow-up tests that do pose risks. You may end up having an angiogram, and that means exposing the patient to an amazing amount of unnecessary x-rays. So this is totally unacceptable. In spite of the risks, EKGs and exercise stress tests are common. Consumer Reports medical experts say there are better ways for healthy people to protect their hearts. Adults should have regular monitoring of their blood pressure. In taking steps to lower your risk, like exercise and weight loss, is important too. Giving up cigarettes and preparing food that is low in saturated fat and cholesterol are other strategies that can promote a healthy heart. On this morning, Juana Libadinsky walks to her next appointment and takes the stairs. She knows that staying active is the best way to protect her heart. Learn more at consumerhealthchoices.org.